Did Mother Teresa the revered saint have a dark side? This question may shock many, but it's time to delve deeper. We're about to unveil 10 controversial facts about Mother Teresa's deeds, each revealing a less known facet of her life. From questionable medical practices to conversion controversies, we'll expose the shadows lurking beneath her saintly image. Today, we're not focusing on her accolades, but the deeds that left many questioning her sainthood. So brace yourself. Prepare to have your perceptions challenged. Fact one, did you know Mother Teresa's clinics reportedly reused needles? This shocking revelation raises serious questions about the hygiene standards in her clinics. Despite the life-threatening risk of spreading diseases, it appears that needles were not always sterilized between uses. Why would a supposed saint allow such a dangerous practice? Was it due to lack of resources, negligence, or something more sinister? Regardless of the reason, it's a stark contrast to the image of compassion and care she's often associated with. How could a saint ignore basic medical hygiene? Fact two, was Mother Teresa more interested in conversions than care? Let's delve into this controversy. Allegations have surfaced that Mother Teresa prioritized converting dying individuals to Christianity over providing them with essential medical care. Critics argue that her focus was not on easing physical suffering, but rather on achieving spiritual salvation. Her actions raise a complex question. Should religious conversions take precedence over immediate health needs? It's a debate that continues to this day. Was her main goal spiritual salvation, not physical relief? Fact three. Did Mother Teresa's clinics provide substandard care? The question looms large as we delve into the mysterious realm of Mother Teresa's medical missions. Accusations of neglect and poor management punctuate the narrative, painting a stark contrast to the saintly image we've been sold. Patients were often subjected to ill-equipped facilities, outdated treatment methods, and a lack of basic hygiene. The severity of these claims cannot be understated, raising fundamental questions about the quality of care provided. Can we ignore these troubling allegations? Fact four, where did all the donations go? Mother Teresa's organization, the Missionaries of Charity, received substantial donations from around the globe. Yet the allocation of these funds remains a cause for concern. Despite the millions pouring in, the organization's facilities were often described as under-resourced and inadequate. Questions began to arise. Why were conditions not improving? What were these funds being used for? Despite numerous inquiries, the financial transparency of Mother Teresa's organization remains a mystery. Fact five, did Mother Teresa have questionable associations? It's true. Mother Teresa's circle wasn't limited to the downtrodden. She was known to hobnob with some controversial figures Critics pointed out her acceptance of generous donations from these questionable sources, raising eyebrows. These included figures with shady reputations, even those accused of serious crimes. One might wonder, did the ends justify the means for her? Or did this undermine her image as a saint? Can we overlook these dubious friendships? Dubious? Fact six, did Mother Teresa romanticize suffering? This saintly figure held a controversial perspective on suffering, seeing it as a spiritual journey, a means to connect closer to Christ. Her belief translated into her approach to care, often prioritizing spiritual solace over medical relief. Critics argue that this philosophy led to unnecessary pain for those under her watch. It leaves us grappling with a moral quandary. Is suffering a path to salvation or a condition to alleviate? Fact seven. What was the Vatican's role in Mother Teresa's actions? The Vatican, the heart of the Catholic Church, was instrumental in shaping Mother Teresa's work. There was a symbiotic relationship between them. The Vatican's approval and support provided her with a platform and legitimacy, while her work seemingly embodied the Church's mission of charity. Yet the question remains, how much of her controversial actions were known by the Vatican? Did they condone or ignore them? Did the Vatican turn a blind eye to these controversies? Fact eight, did the media misrepresent Mother Teresa? The media's role in shaping perceptions can't be understated. For decades, they painted Mother Teresa as a beacon of selfless service. This portrayal, however, might have overshadowed the controversies surrounding her work. Criticisms when they arose were often drowned in the sea of praise. This raises the question, did the media in its quest for a compelling narrative, contribute to the creation of a saint while glossing over the less palatable aspects. Did the media contribute to the creation of a saint? 
Fact nine was Mother Teresa's canonization rushed. The canonization of Mother Teresa was indeed swift, with the Vatican fast-tracking the process. This has stirred controversy, with critics suggesting that the speed was due to her global fame, rather than thorough examination of her life and deeds. Some have even gone as far as to propose that her rapid canonization was a strategic move by the Vatican to bolster its image and influence. So, we must ask, was the rush to canonize Mother Teresa a calculated move? Fact 10. What is the true legacy of Mother Teresa? As we reflect on the controversies surrounding her life, we find ourselves questioning the narrative we've accepted. Her actions, veiled under the guise of charity, have sparked debates and raised eyebrows. The one-needle policy, the questionable quality of care, and her philosophy of suffering. All these factors challenge the sanctified image we hold of her. So we ask, does her legacy stand tarnished in the light of these controversies?